For the last time, Joseph Fritzl took the long walk to court. A dozen policemen guarding a man who's received thousands of death threats. He looked every inch someone ready to finally face judgment. This is the face of a man who's been broken. After the cameras had left, his lawyer told the jury it was the presence of his daughter Elizabeth in court this week that made him change his pleas. Fritzl himself then addressed the jury. I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart, he said. Unfortunately, I can't change anything now. He looked at his table the whole time without any movement, but um, when the judge asked him if he will accept the, the, the verdict, he pointed out, yes, I do, with a very strong voice, calm way. So he was, I think he knew it before already, and you, can, you were able to see that. The verdict was no surprise. The jury decided that under the family home over 24 years, Fritzl had been guilty of appalling abuse and the murder by neglect of a baby boy. Even his lawyer appears to have run out of defences for a man regarded by so many as a monster. It is justice, and uh, when you think that normally for one rape, you get an Austrian punishment started up from two years, and in this case are 3,000 rapes, and you, you can see that this is, of course, the only sentence that is possible. This is where Fritzl's future will now be decided. The Mitterstag Institute in Vienna is the country's leading centre in deciding how to deal with those sent to secure psychiatric units. Doctors will assess key questions. Is he motivated and willing to undergo therapy? Can his personality and his attitude be changed? Is he ready for such a change? How dangerous is this man? And can, through therapy, this danger be reduced? There remains also the possibility that life might not mean life. He could theoretically be released after 15 years at the earliest, and then, of course, three judges would have to decide again on this release. That will ring alarm bells for many here. As Fritzl was led away to begin his sentence, the question of why he committed his crimes still hangs in the air. He is the only person who can answer that, but chooses not to. To many, it seems extraordinary that 24 years of horror has been dealt with in a trial lasting just three and a half days.